Good morning. A special ceremony is about to get underway here, remembering fallen officers that were killed in the line of duty. I'm Joe Gallis. We'll take you live here in just a moment. Right now, the community is gathering to remember all DPS officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. And Jill Gallus is live near 22nd Avenue in Encanto, where this ceremony is about to get underway. Jill, good morning to you. Good morning, Scott. There are a lot of people here. If you take a look, we have lots of officers and also lots of family members here this morning. They are honoring 29 officers who were killed in the line of duty. This is put on by the Arizona Highway Patrol Association, and this is an annual ceremony. We also have the governor here. She just arrived moments ago. Bill Rogers is a sergeant with DPS, and he's going to talk a little bit about why this is so important to do every year. This is very important to do every year to remember the officers that have fallen. And this year we add Tim Huffman's name to the, to the wall. He was a very gracious officer, a big teddy bear of a man. I mean, it's with honor and dignity we would add his name to the wall. Talk a little bit about um, Tim Huffman and his situation. He was killed in the line of duty almost exactly one year ago. We have to be quiet here for Wes Ellington and Andy Swan. And finally, the invocation by DPS Chaplain Samuel Jepson. And uh, it's a solemn morning because all fallen DPS officers are being remembered today as we take a shot of what's going on. DPS, along with the Arizona Highway Patrol Association and the community coming together for this memorial. And this is a live look at what is going on at the Memorial Lawn at Encanto Boulevard and 19th Avenue. 29 DPS officers have lost their lives in their service to Arizona. Today, Arizona honored Department of Public Safety officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. Joe Gallas was at today's annual memorial. Somber is the best way to describe the mood here today as family members came up one by one, placing roses here alongside the names of their fallen family members. It's a moment that stays imprinted in your mind. A young girl giving a final kiss, her way of showing love and appreciation as her family remembers one of 29 fallen DPS officers honored during today's ceremony. As we read the names of these fallen heroes and embrace their families and reflect on their legacies, we are reminded that our safety and security often come at a terrible price. Tomorrow marks one year since DPS officer Timothy Huffman was killed in the line of duty by a distracted driver. Family members held back tears as they saw his dedication plaque for the first time. We want you to know that you are and will always be a part of us, part of the agency and part of the family that is the thin blue line. Jan Blazer Upchurch became part of this family in 1990. My husband, Sergeant John Blazer, was 36 years old when he was killed by a DUI driver, him and another officer. And, and it, you know, it shattered my world. She's attended this ceremony every year since and continues to see new faces. Today, she says it's hard to put in perspective how grateful she is for those around her paying tribute. Remembering and having people, young officers that never knew your, your officers standing in a Attention and remembering that person, it means a lot to the families, it all, to all of us. While reflecting on the legacies that live on, she says this is also a reminder to pause and thank those who continue to protect and serve. We always want to remember them and thank them for the hard choices they have to make and the tough work that they have to do because we want them all to come home. In Phoenix, Jill Gallis, 3TV.